stop doing flip resets like this. Flip resets are becoming a must-know mechanic at the higher ranks, but most people who think they can do them only land them half the time. So today, I'm going over the three most common mistakes that make your flip resets inconsistent and how to fix them to guarantee you get the reset every time. Mistake number one, hovering under the ball. The most common way that I see players mess up flip resets is by not flying through the ball. Most players try to land resets by flipping their car upside down and letting the ball fall onto their wheels. The problem is that if the ball isn't flying fast enough, it won't hit your car with enough speed to actually get the reset. Plus, if you try to get the reset while the ball is falling, there's a good chance it's going to bounce off your car. And even if you do get it, you won't be in a good position to follow up for a shot afterwards. Instead, the more consistent way to get the reset is by flying through it on the first half while its trajectory is still going upwards. So basically, if you boost up to the ball for just a few seconds before you connect with it, then turn your car upside down and pull down on your joystick, you'll go out and grab the reset with the speed of your car, which will make sure that you actually land it and your car will be in a better position to follow it up. Mistake number two, boosting through the reset. If you followed tip number one, you may be finding that your car sometimes gets the reset in a good spot, but other times it bounces off the ball and it's too hard to follow up. The reason for this is usually because you're boosting through the reset. When you boost and pull down at the same time, you're going to hit the ball harder and you have the risk of sending it away and making it too hard to follow up. So instead, you want to boost up to it and then make sure you have a half second before you connect with the ball where you're not boosting at all. This will keep your car glued to the ball afterwards and make your follow-up shot effortless. Finally, mistake number three is not learning directional air roll before you learn flip resets. Yes, you can land flip resets without directional air roll or understanding air roll at all. But the truth is, if half the players I watch just learned air roll before trying to learn flip resets, you'd actually be able to land your first one twice as fast. The hardest part of actually getting the reset is just lining your car up to the ball. And at the end of the day, that just comes down to air roll. Not just that, but when you understand air roll, you'll also be able to use tornado spins to get flip resets in situations where the method I was talking about earlier wouldn't work. So bottom line, learn stuff in order and you'll learn it faster. Feel free to join my free Discord down below and send in clips to any of the coaches there if you need help with your resets. Or if you're gold through champ ranked watching, my private coaching program that helps take gold through champs like you up to GC has just 10 of 100 seats remaining at the time I'm recording this. So if you want to grab one of those last 10 before we sell out and go on pause until May, DM my Discord with the keyword 10 and we talk details about how it works. Thanks for watching.